Hello friends, my name is Catherine and welcome to Storytime. Let's start with our welcome song. Welcome, and a special hello today to Rosie and Julian. Now, it's raining outside in my neighborhood today, which is really wonderful. I love the spring rain. It really makes our plants and our gardens grow strong. So why don't we sing a couple of rain songs? So for the first one, everyone, pop open your umbrellas, and let's take cover right underneath them. And we're going to sing, Come Under My Umbrella. You ready? Come under my umbrella, umbrella, umbrella. Come under my umbrella, it's starting to rain with thunder and lightning and thunder and lightning. Come under my umbrella, it's starting to rain. Wonderful. But for our next song, it's about ants marching in the rain and you're welcome to march around the living room or wherever you are at right now as we sing together and we're gonna count here we go the ants go marching the ants go marching Are you ready for a story? Well, I am, and the first one I'm going to read today is To Market to Market by Anne Miranda and illustrated by Janet Stevens. To market, to market, to buy a fat pig. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. To market, to market, to buy a red hen. Home again. Uh-oh, the pig left the pen. To market, to market, to buy a plump goose. Home again. Uh-oh, the hen's on the loose. To market, to market, to buy a live trout. Home again. Uh-oh, the goose was let out. To market, to market, to buy a spring lamb. Home again, uh-oh, away the trout swam. To market, to market for one milking cow. Home again, uh-oh, 
where's the lamb now? To market, to market, to buy a white duck. Now the cow disappeared, and I'm out of luck. To market, to market, for one stubborn goat. The duck flew the coop, and the goat ate my coat. This is the last straw. I'm a shopping disgrace. Everything's running all over the place. The pig's in the kitchen, the lamb's on the bed, the cow's on the couch, there's a duck on my head. The hen's in the cupboard, the goose is there too, the goat's in the closet, it's chewing my shoe. The trout's in the bathtub, this place is a zoo. I'm hungry, I'm cranky, now what will I do? To market, to market, to buy some potatoes, celery, beets, and some ripe red tomatoes. Some pea pots and peppers and garlic and spice. A round head of cabbage, a sack of brown rice, add okra and onions and one carrot bunch. Home again, home again. Hot soup for lunch. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. I don't know about you, but that big pot of soup looked really delicious to me, and it made me think of a rhyme that I knew, but mine deals with a magic pot. So let's see what happens when we start putting things into our magic pot. But I need your help. What shall we put in first? Put this apple in? Okay, let's do it. So we'll put this apple, we'll put it in our magic pot, and we'll stir it and stir it and stir it a lot. Let's take it out. What'll it be? It's the prettiest red you ever did see. Now, what's this? That's right, it's an orange. We'll put it in the pot and we'll stir it and stir it and stir it a lot. We'll take it out and what'll it be? Why, it's the prettiest orange you ever did see. Now, let's take this lemon. That's right, we'll put it in our magic pot and say it with me. We'll stir it and stir it and stir it a lot. We'll take it out. What'll it be? the prettiest yellow you ever did see. Now why don't we take this pear? We'll put it in our pot and we'll stir it and stir it and stir it a lot. Take it out. What'll it be? The prettiest green you ever did see. And lastly, let's take these blueberries and put them in a pot and we're going to stir it and stir it and stir it a lot. Take it out. What'll it be? The prettiest blue you ever did see. Now let's see what we have. We have red, orange, yellow, and green. Blue are all the colors we've seen. Put them together and what have you got? The prettiest rainbow you ever did see. Thanks for helping me with that rhyme. Let's read one more story, and this one is one of my favorites. It's called Bunny Cakes by Rosemary Wells. It was Grandma's birthday. Max made her an earthworm birthday cake. No, Max, said Max's sister, Ruby. We are going to make Grandma an angel surprise cake with raspberry fluff icing. Max wanted to help. Don't touch anything, Max, said Ruby. But it was too late. Ruby sent Max to the store with the list that said eggs. Max wanted red hot marshmallow squirters for his earthworm cake, so he wrote red hot marshmallow squirters on the list. The grocer could not read Max's writing. Eggs, said the grocer. 
and he gave Max eggs. Max brought the eggs home to Ruby. Don't bump the table, Max, said Ruby. But it was too late. Ruby sent Max back to the store with a list that said milk. This time Max wrote red hot marshmallow squirters in a different way. Max hoped and hoped for his squirters, but the grocer still couldn't read Max's writing. Milk, said the grocer, and he gave Max milk. Max brought the milk home to Ruby. There's a yellow line on the floor, Max, said Ruby. You can't step over the line. But Max crossed the line anyway. Over went the flower. Ruby got out her pencil. Flower. This time Max wrote red hot marshmallow squirters in the most beautiful writing he knew. Max could almost taste the marshmallow squirters. Flower, said the grocer, and he gave Max flour. When Max got home, there was a sign on the kitchen door. Max, the kitchen is no place for you, said Ruby. Ruby finished up her cake. She baked it and cooled it and iced it with raspberry fluff frosting. I need something else, Max, said Ruby. Birthday candles, silver stars, sugar hearts, buttercream roses, wrote Ruby. Meanwhile, Max had a brand new idea. He drew a picture of red hot marshmallow squirters on Ruby's list and ran to the grocer. He could not wait. Birthday candles, silver stars, sugar hearts, buttercream roses, said the grocer. What's this? Why, it must be red hot marshmallow squirters. Ruby's cake looked just beautiful. Max went out and put caterpillar icing on his earthworm cake. Grandma was so thrilled, she didn't know which cake to eat first. The end. A special thank you to our guest reader, Myra. I hope you enjoyed that story. Now we're at the end of our story time, so why don't we sing our farewell song? We for coming and singing songs with me and I'll see you next time.